I listened to this pastor where he was talking about how people can tell counterfeits, right? So specifically, those who are in banking, right? When new people come, they train the people to learn what the counterfeit looks like, right? But they don't show them the counterfeits. They focus on the real thing. They spend a lot of time learning what is real about this bill so that if anything that's fake comes across, they know it's a counterfeit. And that is what we need when we're talking about the Bible and a Christian living, right? Because what's happening is a lot of people are on social media and they just spew their opinions, their thoughts, their beliefs, rather than what is real in the word. And so if you are a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching person, then you need to be making content on this World Wide Web, okay? On YouTube, whatever avenue it may be, but you need to be sharing the gospel, the Bible, study, all of that. Let's talk about it. So I noticed a lot of Christian content creators are making videos where they are calling out false teachers, like talking about certain people and how they're spreading heresy or it's bad, all this good stuff. We need that. We, especially if, you know, people aren't really confident in what they, uh, their, their spiritual walk, right? So they are heavily relying on Christian leaders, um, you know, pastors to tell them what to do, right? However, when you're in your word, then you can tell the counterfeit. You can be like, oh, that is not what the Bible says. Oh, you are twisting it all around, right? And so I really would love to get more Bible teaching people on social media, like not so much as your opinion, but what the Bible says, teaching people how to look it up in the Strong's Concordance, learn Hebrew, you know, doing word studies, really diving deep into the word. And so this video is for people who want to share the good news through Bible teaching, okay? So one thing is the youth. We all, the kids are getting a lot of information, right? They are getting it from everywhere. And so I really would love to have channel, channels, multiple, a lot of channels dedicated to teaching the word of God to the youth. So if you have that gift of speaking to the young folks in a way that's creative and exciting, then you need to start teaching Bible studies for the youth and engaging in creativity and challenges. And if you have the capacity, there's AI animation. There are people who are teaching people how to animate Bible stories or stories in general so that you can upload it to YouTube and be that source for the young people. Another one is if you are into history, yo, you need to teach that. First of all, a lot of people take the Bible out of context. They forget that the Bible was written in a period of time where certain things were happening. There were types of the culture was different, right? Um, what they did was different. Like they didn't have access to what we have right now. And it was totally different. And so if you could teach historical and biblical history in the context, you would be a blessing to so many people, okay? Because one thing, of course, there are schools that are doing it. However, you know, a lot of people don't have access financially to these resources, right? And they also probably don't want to take lessons. They don't want to write papers. They don't want to answer, you know, take tests and whatnot. But the information is still valuable and vital to our Christian living because when you read in context, it changes how we understand the word of God. And so I would highly encourage you to start writing 
and creating content specifically for the historical context, the background, you know, yeah. Another way is teaching people how to Bible study. Like I see people doing Bible studies online, which is amazing. So maybe also adding to that, right? There are different methods. How do we approach the scriptures, right? How do you do it? Take people through your Bible study time. Another thing is to teach people how to pray. There are a lot of people who are afraid to pray in real life, in real time with people who are watching. That's me. Like I'm getting better. I'm getting so much better, but I'm still not there. But if you can teach people how to pray, right, from a biblical perspective, there are so many prayers in the Bible that you can spend your whole YouTube channel going over every prayer that's in the Bible, what they say, how they say it, what was for, how to apply to our lives, like a praying channel, but on a an educational perspective, that that is very, that's really cool. I, I would be watching that channel. So let me know if you get that channel, okay? Another one is teaching how to use resources and technology and other Bibles to encourage and elevate your Bible study time or whatever you're doing in your life, Christian living. How do you use these things to take them to the next level? So I have some more ideas on the blog, so definitely head over there to grab those ideas and start brainstorming your ways on how you would like to approach your YouTube channel or your content creation. And it doesn't have to be YouTube. It could be blogging. It could be podcasting, right? You could be writing books. Whatever it is, we need more of it. So there is space for you. And when you abide in God and he abides in you and you begin to do the things in his will, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to leave off with this verse. 1 Peter 4 verses 10 through 11. It says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength that God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. So use your gifts for the building of the kingdom. Stay tuned for the next video in this series. Let me know your thoughts. Put some ideas in the comments below. And if you have any questions, definitely reach out. Peace and blessings.